Merry Christmas to you all. Welcome to Christmas in Lisbon. This is the third and probably the last video on free cash flow versus uh, net income. We've talked about growth companies that usually have lower free cash flow than net income. We've talked about mature companies that usually have higher free cash flow than net income. And today we're going to talk about a specific set of companies that the more they grow, the higher the free cash flow in comparison to the net income. These companies have little to no capex on the cash flow statement and they also have negative working capital. And when I say working capital, I mean non-cash working capital. So which companies fall into this uh, particular um, set? Usually the software as a service companies, right? They have their capex, their capital expenditures are not done through the cash flow statement. They're almost always done through the income statement and more often than not as uh, R&D costs, right? That's their capex in intangible assets, software. And then they collect prior to rendering the services, right? They collect upfront when you pay for a subscription. You usually pay it in advance for the entire year, but these companies cannot recognize this on the income statement. So this goes into the balance sheet as deferred revenue and as cash as well. So the more they grow, the more cash they get from their subscribers, but that cash cannot be recognized as revenue yet. So the more they grow, the higher their free cash flow in comparison to their net income. This series, this three part series goes to show that there is no specific formula or there shouldn't be, you should, we as investors should have a specific metric that we apply randomly to all uh, companies. We must understand which company we're looking at. We must analyze their business and their accounts, their financials to make proper investment decisions. So this is it. I wish you all Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.